Good morning. Today we discuss the topic on to determine the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor by the least disk method. Okay. So in this diagram we show that the least disk apparatus is shown here. So one is a brass disk, bottom brass disk is be there and another bottom brass disk will be connected with the steam chamber. The steam is passed through the upper end, upper end of the brass chamber. So it should be circulated through that particular particular spaces. Yeah, this is actually the particular spaces. The heat is to be transferred from the bad conductor. Uh, yeah, X is inserted between the two brass disks. Okay, the thermal conductivity is nothing but the that uh, the total quantity of heat conducted through the material if one meter square area of cross section under the unit temperature gradient is called the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor okay so you just estimating that uh, particular temperature on the bottom and uh, down bottom and the top surface of the metal disc is inserted by the sensitive thermometer t1 and the t2 is inserted here so let us discuss in detail in this session uh, how 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 does we can calculate the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor so let us discuss today uh, itself the introductions of uh, thermal conductivity and uh, the I just introducing the bra least disk apparatus so this is actually brass uh, disk this is a uh, least disk apparatus. Uh, they say you have to insert it with the two thermometer to measure that uh, particular temperature of that instant of time. Uh, here the bad conductor uh, cardboard is to be there. It should be cut through uh, the circular things. And the description followed by the description and the working and theory and finally summary of the uh, today's idea. Okay. Well, let us uh, discuss in detail. Uh, the least disk apparatus consists of a circular disk D over which the hollow cylindrical chamber S of the same diameter S is provided with an inlet and outlet by which the steam is passed. If you have to pass the steams, there could be an inlet and outlet is be there. So the steam is passed through that uh, particular chamber and automatically the it will be connecting through the C is to be heated okay the heat is to be transferred uh, during the uh, conduction phenomena that's and uh, in terms of uh, uh, in between the lower and upper disc uh, C and D uh, there will be a uh, one of the car bad conductors to be inserted okay uh, yeah the specimen is taken as a C as a thin disc the same diameter D and S is placed between D and S the holes of a S and D uh, will be uh, inserted by the two thermometers uh, is introduced uh, where we have to the temperature uh, what will be the temperature at any instant of time is going to be called, going to be shown. Okay, so this is actually the time versus temperature graph. This is actually cooling curve, the temperature gradient, uh, the cool time versus uh, temperature graph. If you the uh, if suppose uh, finally the temperature of the disk. Uh, is to be above that of 5 degree of theta 2 and it should be cooling from below that theta 2 the steady temperature of the theta 2 uh, it automatically uh, it will be reducing that uh, in uh, with, with respect to the time it should be recorded in the diagram we can uh, take the slope of this diagram is to be converted in converted as a d theta by a dt uh, which is to be discussed in our uh, next slide okay uh, we are concerned about the experiment. The steam is passed through the steam chamber until the temperature of the chamber and the lower disc are steady. Okay. So when you go to pass the steam when you go to pass the heat to the steam chamber, the two temperature is under uh, shown as a steady. When the thermometer uh, theta one and theta two shows the readings are steady are noted. Uh, the radius R of the disc C and the thickness D are called noted d are calculated the quantity of heat conducted through the specimen per second is the total heat quantity is uh, according to our thermal conductivity idea uh, given q is equal to k into area is nothing but area of the disk pi r square theta 1 minus theta 2 is a initial and final temperature 
by d d is the thickness of the uh, thickness of the layer thickness of the layer okay the heat q is uh, radiated to the surrounding the curved uh, side and uh, flat bottom of the lower disc d the bad conductor c is now removed okay so when the bad conductor c is removed it automatically uh, conduct through the total steam uh, is to be directly contact uh, conduct to the uh, lowest uh, disc d the disc d is heated at the temperature of 5 degree above that of above that of the greater than theta 2 so when you have noted that uh, theta 1 and theta 2 is a steady temperature so theta 1 is uh, above 90 theta 2 is is to be a mac on 40 or 45 degrees celsius so 45 is a steady temperature if you have heated that uh, more than 5 degree above the 45 degree the steam is uh, removed and then d is allowed to cool when you have the t the alloy disc is to be allowed to cool the temperature t is noted uh, at the interval of half a minute with the temperature of the disc falls to about 5 degree below theta 2 okay so theta 2 is a 45 degree so you have above the 50 to 40 degree the each one of 30 seconds what will be the temperature is going to be decrease is, is noted and the time temperature graph is drawn above that of figure uh, from that graph the falling temperature d theta by dt is to be at a steady temperature theta 2 is formed the mass of the disk d mass of the disk d and uh, the thickness of l is formed but C is the specific capacity of the brass disc. Okay. For calculations, the quantity of heat uh, radiated per second of two flat surface and one curved surface of the lower end T. Okay. So this is the total heat is to be transferred. Uh, there will be a two flat surfaces, one curved surfaces of that uh, brass disc. They, the, because of the uh, brass disc is to be in a cylindrical formations small cylindrical formation that we have two upper surface upper surface and lower surface flat surface and also the curved surface is around in and around this but uh, the heat heat lost by one flat surface and one curved surface but actually the heat is to be transferred to the uh, transferred to the bad conductor is one flat surface and one curved surface okay the total heat quantity of heat conducted through uh, one flat surface and one curved surface using this particular formula is mc into d theta by dt is a total heat quantity transfer from the two curved surface and one flat surface two sorry two flat surface and one curved surface but we need required one flat surface and one curved surface so the pi r squared is nothing but uh, the surface area of the uh, flat surfaces two pi r is a surface area of the curved surfaces Therefore, 2 pi r squared by 2 pi r, and this is a total uh, 2 curve, 2 flat surface and 1 curve surface. But this is equal to the heat conducted through the specimen per second. Okay, so uh, the heat conducted through the specimen per second uh, already we calculated. The two equations will be equal. Therefore, k pi r squared theta 1 minus theta 2 by d is equal to mc into d theta by dt into pi r squared 2 pi r by 2 pi r squared 2 pi r l. So from the conservation idea, we can easily calculate the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor K. Therefore, K is equal to, we just equating this expression, K is equal to mc d theta by dt r plus 2 all by 2 r plus 2 l into t by pi r square theta 1 minus theta 2. From that equations, we can estimate the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor. So this is actual uh, uh, experiment of, uh, shown once again in that uh, diagram. So this is actually uh, the brass disc is to be connected in the upper end. From that way, the aroma way, the steam is to be passed through that uh, um, vacuum chamber. It automatically, the heat is to be, uh, the steam, the heat is to be conducted through that, uh, the nearest chamber M. And S is nothing but uh, here, the bad conductor. B is a lower brass disc of the same diameter. Okay, so if you put the upper temperature theta 1 and the lower temperature theta 2 is to be noted here of the steady temperature. After that, you can remove that uh, bad conductor. We can uh, um, directly conduct through with each other. They can make be an experiment. Finally, summary of the today idea is, is from the release disk method, we can easily calculate the thermal conductivity of the bad conductor of the uh, of 
the whatever we discussed uh, today is in the same method. So thermal conductivity is nothing but the total quantity of heat conducted per second from one unit temperature, one area, one meter squared area of cross section under the unit temperature uh, gradient. How much amount of heat is to be conducted from one surface to another surface is called a thermal conductivity of the material. So from that we can easily calculate the rate of temperature, rate of fall of temperature with respect to the time is to be calculated from that uh, graph. So from this we can easily calculate the thermal conductivity of the band. Finally, I, I acknowledge the uh, acknowledge my colleagues and my uh, students who are helped me to make this video in a perfect manner. Thank you all. Thank you very much.